The third phase of coronavirus relief made important investments in crucial programs, but one of the most critical was left out. The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, formerly known as food stamps. That can't happen again. Here's why. In the Great Recession, Congress did expand SNAP. And expanding SNAP was more effective than every other policy Congress passed. Not only did it fight hunger, the studies show that during economic crises like the Great Recession, every single dollar invested in SNAP puts as much as $1.80 right back into the economy. But what does that economic output actually look like? First, money goes to people who can't afford to eat. They get to spend it at local grocery stores and they get to feed their families. That is great. The additional funding is already worthwhile. But the benefits don't stop there. Those extra SNAP dollars help keep local grocery stores afloat. That means that grocery workers still get enough hours, and that means that they can still support their families. Not to mention, our local farmers still have a market to actually sell their products to. In economic crises like the Great Recession, and like right now, SNAP stabilizes entire communities. But that stability can't happen unless the Senate takes action. Share this if you think SNAP must be expanded.